This video is to introduce you a maiden experimental demonstration of a channel modulation scheme done at the Department of Electrical Communication Engineering of the Indian Institute of Science Bangalore. In modern digital communication, the data is modulated by spreading the carrier and the transmitted signals are represented by constellation points in in-phase and quadrature phase, that means by I and Q components. By increasing the number of these constellation points, a higher spectral efficiency and capacity is achieved. On the other hand, this video introduces a novel scheme that transmits just a single tone and demonstrates the feasibility of data transmission by modulating the channel, modifying the states of elements in the near field of the transmitting antenna. The transmitter consists of an antenna, in our case, a microstrip antenna, which is designed to operate at the desired frequency. In front of this antenna is a reconfigurable metasurface array. The unit cells of this array can toggle between transmitting and blocking states by turning on and off a diode embedded in it. While the magnitude of transmission through a unit cell changes significantly by as much as 20 dB or more, this range of variation is reduced when one uses these as a finite sized array. For example, we took the radiation patterns of the combined antenna plus metasurface array with a number of its possible states, which showed around 8 dB variation in most directions. The receiver in the proposed scheme is expected to collect the complex value of the incoming field to construct a constellation diagram. Therefore, the initial calibration setup would require parsing through all possible switching states of the array. We simulated this scenario and then realized a hardware for the transmitter to conduct experiments to verify these. Here, an Arduino Uno controller is used to generate signals required to switch these diodes. Based on preliminary simulations, we have used a common signal to switch all diodes in one column of the array. In this experimental demonstration, we used eight such columns. Therefore, eight GPIO lines from controller with an appropriate current control circuit is used to switch these columns. The transmitting antenna is connected to a vector network analyzer operating in the continuous wave mode. The received power is returned to the second port of the VNA and the S21s are measured. The 2 to the power of 8th possible switching states are measured as 256 complex scatter points on a constellation diagram. Since many of these points are very close, we chose a small set of symbols from here. These symbols are identified by maximizing the minimum Euclidean distance measures among these measured scatter points. Correspondingly, bit error rate performance as a function of signal to noise ratio has been shown for different number of selected symbols from the fixed constellation. Multipath components are considered as a major concern in all digital communication schemes. However, in the proposed scheme we have found that the performance improves if there exists no direct path between the transmitting and the receiving stations. In other words, a scatter-rich environment improves the performance of the proposed channel modulation scheme. We demonstrated this by conducting experiments in a line of sight configuration with direct path and multi paths and repeating the same in a non line of sight scenario having no direct paths. This demonstration is based on the theoretical works by Professor Kondani of Waterloo University Canada and by Professor H. O. Kulingam at the Indian Institute of Science Bangalore in the past few years. These researchers call this scheme as media based modulation or MBM. This scheme has the benefits of excellent RF hardware simplicity and linear rate increase with number of unit cells. Another important characteristic of MBM is it can convert a fading channel into an AWGN channel. We have demonstrated this by conducting large number of measurements by moving around the laboratory by changing the orientation of the transmitter or the receiver. All these measurements are undertaken in the microwave laboratory at the Indian Institute of Science Bangalore. Having demonstrated the feasibility and the core advantages of MBM, we have demonstrated data transmission using the scheme. Here, a text string is entered in a GUI, which is converted into ASCII and are grouped into sets of two bits. These sets decide one of the four pre-selected symbols identified by the corresponding state of the metasurface. The complex S21 from the VNA is downloaded to a computer that maps the constellation points corresponding to the transmitted bits based on a pre-recorded code book. 
As you can see, the transmitted string is received back perfectly. This, we believe, is the first practical demonstration of live over the air data transfer using the concept of MBM in a real life environment. We expect this demonstration of the proposed channel modulation would convince you, which is a practically implementable scheme that can bring in a lot of cost and performance benefits. We do hope this demonstration would create increased interest in activities leading to its adoption in future wireless systems. For any questions or comments, please revert to us. Thanks for watching.